Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse news video for you. We got a couple new DC Multiverse figures to talk about, a couple new images, but uh, none of them are really up for pre-order just yet. But before we get started, as always, when they do go up for pre-order, I will have all the links down in the description below. Thank you for using my affiliate links, yada yada. I very much appreciate it because we got some cool stuff to talk about today and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Now, first and foremost, this was earlier last week. We got a kind of like a final looking version of the upcoming Target exclusive. This is their year long flashpoint build a figure, collect a build wave, Barry Allen flash. And I like that recently on the Target app, they've been putting these really cool turnarounds on there so for people that are a little less inclined to watch youtube videos right on toys you get a little bit of a, a better understanding of what you're buying and i totally dig that you get to see from all angles it's a really nice looking barry allen flash here's everything he comes with a few more pieces for the cyborg collect build figure as well as the second head portrait and i've been seeing a lot of people saying wow this is the first time we've gotten uh, extra head portraits from McFarlane Toys. Now, they've done it before. It's just not as prevalent, but I hope that it's something that makes a return a lot more often. Now, here he is all packaged up. As you can see, it's 25 bucks. You get the card, you get the toy, you get the extra parts, yada, yada. And we still don't know exactly who will be the final figure. It hasn't been yet revealed. If I had to take a wild guess, since we got Aquaman... Probably another Wonder Woman. Who knows, right? But in either case, if you'd like to get this figure, uh, yeah, the links are up now to pre-order him. As far as the new figures, and really as yet not revealed, but uh, Target went ahead and took care of that for you, we have Batwing, another one of the Batman family members. And he looks pretty cool. I can't really tell you much about Batwing. He's one of those newer characters that I'm like, well, it's another... Batman related character right we got so many these days he looks a little flat in the color especially since he's supposed to be more of a let's say cyborg silver ish you know what I mean he's got the cool bat wings those attach in the back you got a couple of effect pieces as well I think that this guy probably would have benefited from a flight stand even though if you've been collecting McFarlane toys, I'm sure you have an extra flight stand somewhere around. So here's everything in the box. Yellow boot thrusters. You got a blue jet thruster for his backpack. Not too shabby. In all honesty, though, doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot for me. He's cool. I'm glad that they're including him as one of the Bat family members. He comes from Batman Inc. Uh, the artwork is not going to match on the back for some of you out there that are going to say stuff about that. But in either case, again, if you'd like to pre-order him, look for the pre-order coming soon. Now, the second figure is one that we've known is coming. He was revealed not too long ago. This is from Batman Reborn, Two-Face as Batman. It's a bit of a split down the middle. You get the idea, Two-Face is Batman. He's a bit of a reuse from the Batman Hush. Some new parts, of course, sculpted in there like the head and the hands. But it's a nice looking paint job. Again, it's one of those where I get it. They want to reuse it. They want to get a repaint out there. It doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot for me. Of course, give me a regular Two-Face in a suit. You know what I mean? That would be more up my alley. I like the reds. I like the blacks. But again, it's just kind of like, yeah, well, that's an interesting repaint, I suppose. Now, if you do look closely at his hands, one in the red and one in the black, there is a coin sculpted in on both. I'm kind of hoping that one of them's the good side, one of them's the bad side. That would be kind of cool. So at least they put that in there. You got the split head. He's got the massacred face. It looks good in that sense. So I'm glad it's not just like, yeah, here's like the bare minimum. At least there's a little bit more to this figure to suggest, yes, uh, this is Two-Face as Batman. So here he is all packaged up. Couple extra hands, the stand, yada, yada. Same exact figure as we've gotten before. Couple new pieces, but uh, you can go ahead and pre-order him when he goes live. And last but certainly not least, we have the favorite for me of all the new reveals today, this is the Nightfall Batman. And I really did like the Hush Blue Batman, but this one takes the cake for me. This is what I've really been waiting for. The proportions, the look, it's very much that 80s slash very much 90s Batman. I love the creases in the suit, little crinkles, 
the little simplistic elements, and I for sure thought that it was a cloth cave at first, and then I saw this turn around and I go, oh, no, it's, a, it's plastic through and through. But it still looks really good. So I'm very happy with this one. This one is top of the list, even though, I mean, how many Batmans have we gotten? But it's exciting to get a really cool Batman from the Nightfall storyline. Now, it's not quite a Kelly Jones Batman, which I would totally take. I think that that would be an amazing figure if McFarlane Toys did it right, right? But you got the cool turnarounds, you got the look, the blue costume, the grays. Here's everything that he comes with, a couple extra hands and a battering, which is totally cool. And I love the trading card artwork on there. That was the start of Nightfall. Very classic looking artwork. Sure, he could have come a little basket with Joker's head popping out with snakes. Have Scarecrow behind him, if you remember that comic cover. Of course, that is one of my favorite comic covers of all time. But I like that it's Batman. It's the blues, it's the grays. You got the cool bat shield right there on his chest. Everything looks to be in proportion. Let's say a lot better than when we first started with McFarlane Toys, right? You know what I'm talking about. But again, very excited for this one. And the best part about it is that none of these, except for the Flash, keep that in mind, that's a Target exclusive, they don't say gold label. So if you don't see gold label, that is not exclusive. There are exceptions, right? Because the Flash Wave doesn't have that on there, but that is a Target exclusive Build-A-Figure Wave. So if it doesn't say gold label, it's not going to be exclusive. So again, if you want to go ahead and pre-order any of these, I will have links down in the description below when available. And what are you guys' thoughts on these figures? Are they for you? A couple of them? All of them? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yes, uh, besides a flash, I mean, th this is largely just, it's all Batman again. McFarlane, they love, <laughs> love the bat. It's not even a joke anymore is how many Batmans, Batman-related Two faces as a Batman. Let's do a Riddler and a Joker. You know what I mean? It just keeps keeps going. So you're not doing yourself any favors. But hey, at least the toys look great. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>